So just a follow up to the uh, Qantas flight I did from Dallas to Sydney. Let's have a look at the GPS track log. Okay, I've downloaded it to the app already and it was 16 hours, 46 minutes. 5,955 points recording. It was recording one point every 10 seconds for 7,572 nautical miles. If we go into the actual log itself. Okay, there's the flight. Okay, now you can actually see where they did a little diversion around some weather. And I remember it was particularly bumpy at that time. But uh, just to revise the information you get out of this when it's uh, applied to the app, you've got the actual speed of the aircraft, the altitudes. Now I've talked about the little step climb. So we climb up when we're heavy, cruise along, burn off some fuel, climb again, do the same thing a few hours later, and you'll see there's several step climbs during the, uh, the entire flight there. And the other one is uh, the distance. You'll see it's just a seamless log. But um, as I've already mentioned, the beauty of this app is that you can export that as a KML file. And it'll work either in the uh, Google Earth app on this um, iPad or on the desktop. You can import it to the desktop. And um, what I'll do is I'll upload the, uh, the KML file so you can download it yourself and you can experiment with it to your heart's content in, uh, in Google Earth. And the beauty of it is that it is actually three-dimensional. Yeah, let me Google Earth. It's a three-dimensional log. Okay, why is that not working? Okay, so you can actually see, zoom right in and see how we landed at Sydney Airport. Now we overflew. And we arrived just before the curfew, so we had to vector around a bit just to kill a few minutes. And landed on 3-4 left. The whole flight is recorded in three dimensions. When you come into Google Earth, like this, and load up the file, you'll see the little bad elf icon just down there. It's actually a KML file. It's the whole route. Okay, and then you've got a slider bar here up the top where you can just move and see where the aeroplane was at any given time. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can, so you can see that. See that? You can actually see where the aeroplane was at any given time. You can zoom right in on Dallas and get the exact runway that we departed from. And this was recording seamlessly the entire flight. There you go, Dallas Airport. That's the runway we departed on. Now, the other thing you can do, which I think is just great about Google Earth, you can overlay the day and night. Now, when you do that, and you follow the track log, and you fly, you'll understand why the whole flight was basically at night. 16 hours, and it was virtually all at night. Okay, let's have a look at, at how the day and night was moving across the earth while the aeroplane was moving. See that? It literally only became daylight a short time before we landed. So as we, as we look at the flight arriving into Australia, you'll see the sun just caught up with us just before we landed. So anyway, I'll keep that fairly short, but uh, I'll upload this KML file. You can download it into your own uh, Google Earth or Google Earth Pro and just play with it to your heart's content. GPS works fine all over the world, seamlessly.